Seattle Supersonics Historical Preservation Society for Sonics Gate. And here to accept the award, please welcome nine-time NBA All-Star and the only point guard ever to win the NBA Defensive Player of the Year Award and the winning Gary Payton. Bring back our Seattle Supersonics. Bring it back like GP, Sean Kemp, Nate McMillan. When the Hall of Fame comes, my jersey is going to be Seattle. It's going to be a supersonic jersey. We just have to remember that's who I played for, you know, so people will understand. I did all my honors and all everything I've done for the Seattle Supersonics, and that's who I'm going to go into the Hall of Fame with. You know, Seattle won a championship before I was born, you know, so when I was coming up, I was able to see Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. They actually came to my basketball games in high school, you know, and Gary kind of took me under his wing and looked at me as a little brother. I went and stayed with him after I was drafted to the Chicago Bulls and worked out with him, you know, and, and they have taken basketball here to a whole different level. That was like the dynamic duo, man. You know, that's what you paid your money to go see. I love Sean Kemp and Gary Payton, grew up watching them. Uh, they was one of the coldest one-two punches in the, in, in the league. And, you know, I, I wish I could have played one year. I was one year away from playing with GP against them. And uh, it's funny because I went to Gary Payton camp and when I was five and I have a picture with him. I think it's because of them and the Rain Man and, you know, Sir Mix-a-Lot making up all them songs and stuff like that. They're the reason why, why the kids were playing basketball. You know, as a kid, I grew up watching them guys do a lot of amazing things for, for a lot of fans. And, and now that I'm a professional myself, I understand and have the respect for what they did for the game. And I hope to just even even be mentioned in the same breath as them one day. So I have a lot of respect for, for what they did as a, you know, being a player myself and, and just growing up watching them and everything they did for the city. I mean, a big one was Gary Payton, you know, always, he's like, he was in our backyard, always watching him, knowing he's gonna talk mess to anybody, wasn't gonna back down. Him, Jamal Crawford, Brandon Roy, the um, Nate, all them type of dudes up here in Seattle that, that give back so much, that I always look up to them and try to put everything they got into my game. The guys that came before him, the greats really had an opportunity to get honored. Um, but with Gary and Sean, um, you know, ending their career and then the Sonics moving before the Sonics had a chance to hang their banners uh, is, is a big deal. I, I think it's real tough because me being in the NBA myself, you know, um, that, that just tells me there's no chance I can ever play at home. But uh, I think it's kind of disappointing because despite losing the team, we have a lot of, we have a lot of great, you know, fans here. So I think that in the future, in the near future, we should have another team here. Of course, I'm disappointed for the Sonics fans, but, uh, you know, I'm a Blazer, you know, we're the Portland Trail Blazers, and, and, and Seattle hopefully adopts us for a little bit, but they need a team here in Seattle, so hopefully they get one back. The only way the NBA comes back is if the wealthy people in this community band together to create a privately funded arena that will have room to have both the NBA and the NHL and have a focus as an international conference center. You know, it's just a crazy world in terms of the economy right now. It's, I think, tough to get anything like that done. Although there are probably some teams that could be available because of the economy also. So wait and see. I hope it happens for people of Seattle and, uh, you know, because I think there's great basketball fans here for sure. I know there's a couple of teams struggling. Um, you know, you never want to take another team away from another city, but um, you know, I, I couldn't mind, so I wouldn't be happy if, if one of the teams left. I mean, this is my home, so um, I'm sad, and I'm glad they kept their name. You know, they still deserve to be the Sonics, and I'm waiting for them to come back. You know, we got to get Kevin Calavero back up in there, seeing him and his voice. We got to hear this type of stuff, you know. Everybody miss Kevin. I, I bet you do. I do miss him. It, it's kind of odd me seeing him on different broadcasting and doing a lot of different stuff, but that's just what he does. So, you know, I, I want to see him back in a, a, being a Sonic broadcaster. I think someday NBA basketball will come back to Seattle, and whether or not I'm a part of that, I don't know. I continue to, you know, try to keep a good relationship in the NBA, do some things with ESPN. I'm a, I, I love the NBA. I, I think it's a, a great sport. Uh, I think it's like any other sport, any other business. It, it does have its problems. Uh, and, and hopefully they can be worked out. The problem is, is that basketball nowadays, as everybody well, well knows, it's a business. And uh, when business gets involved, uh, most good businessmen separate emotion from business. And that's exactly 
what was done here in Seattle. You have to have somebody on your team. You have to have the mayor on your team. You know, you can't have the mayor saying, well, okay, we can settle for it. Let's get this money. Let's do this, whatever. You have to have a mayor that says, look, we want basketball here. We need to keep the issue alive, <laughs> okay? That's number one. Number two, uh, we do need a new building. And, and I think that eventually that will happen. I hope it happens sooner because the sooner that it happens or that we can get plans on the table or a shovel in the ground, the sooner I think we could get a team. And, uh, and I'm going to be all for that. There's still talks, there's still groups that are working on putting the yields together and uh, it's going to, you know, again, uh, need a lot of money, a lot of support uh, to, to bring a new franchise here and, and you know, bring the Sonics basically back and start over. I think what everyone can do, even if not financially, you know, can put millions and millions of dollars into it, I think just keep talking about it. Uh, you know, keep writing letters and emails and phone calls speak, and, and tell your kids about it, that we used to have a team here that was very good because you know, if 10 years go by, the next generation won't even know what it's like to have a team here that wins. And so hang in there. Just don't give up on it because the fan, when and if the business piece comes together, the fans are going to have to be there to convince everybody, convince the business people to do it, to convince the city leaders to do it, to convince the league to do it. The fans are going to have to be there. Well, pray and keep, keep shooting them good videos and putting a little pressure on David Starr. All right. <laughs>